Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, goats. What are you up to? Now that we're milking again, we gotta find a new rhythm for our morning chores. And then it'll change again once the babies are older and they're not nursing all the time. You kiddos coming out or you gonna stay in the corner? Come on out. Like, nope, we ain't coming out. You coming out? Come on out. No, nope, like, we want our mama. Come out here. Come on. You ready to milk Willow? Sure, it looks like you are. You ready to milk? So far, I've been really happy with using our new milking pump that we've made. Willow can definitely hold back her milk if she wants to for her babies, which is a good thing. That means her babies can have some milk when we're done milking. Little man's making some funny noises this morning. <laughs> you hear that, guys? Go ahead and go see your babies. Go ahead and go find mama. And that's why Willow holds back the milk on us. Now they want to see if Willow left anything behind in the milking stand for him to eat. There's a little bit of hay in there. We got a half inch of rain last night in about a half an hour, so it's a perfect opportunity to check and see how our concrete slab is. So it's looking like one low spot there, a little one right there, and a bigger one right there. That's not bad at all. I can live with that. And that's very little. For not having done much concrete work in the past, I'm very happy with the way that slab came out and how nice and smooth it is. We're gonna work some more today and the other two concrete pads we're gonna be pouring later on this week in between raindrops again. See how much we can get done before it starts raining later on today. Come on and pork and chop. Where's the crazy white chicken? Huh? Where's the crazy white chicken this morning, guys? Let's see how much milk Willow gave us this morning. About a cup and three quarters. So not as much as she's given us the last couple of mornings, but pretty close. You taking your dog to show and tell at school today? No. No, it looks like it. Tanner, you want to go to school? Because sure. Sure? Yes. Yeah. It says, I'm ready to go to school, Livy. So I'm ready to go. I hear the bus too. Have a good day at school. Okay, love, you. love you. Have fun. I'll see you this afternoon. Oh, yes. You want to say pretty? Can I say pretty? Oh, yeah. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. 
Tanner is not a happy puppy this morning. He doesn't get to come out and do chicken chores with us. We're bringing him to get neutered this morning. I don't want to have him eating chicken poo <laughs> before he goes to the vet. Uh. Here are the olive egg layers and the black copper marrons. How you ladies doing? Ready for some food? I haven't seen the crazy white chicken anywhere this morning. I wonder if she slept inside New York City last night. The ducks want the ducks want their breakfast. <sighs> and two bodrocks didn't want to go inside last night. You guys ready? Did CWC go inside NYC last night? Huh? Come on Pluto, this way. Let's go see if we can find the crazy white chicken. <laughs> There's the crazy white chicken. Man, I thought we lost you, lady. That would not have been a good thing. Whew, I'm glad you were hiding over there. We found her, Pluto. I bet you she's got a clutch of eggs over there, guys. That's my guess. She's you ready to go to the vet, Tanner? Come on, let's go. You ready? You ready for this? You got this, you got this. The next time we see him, he'll be a new man. Now that Tanner's at the vet, we can get working on leveling off and compacting where we're gonna be pouring our other two concrete slabs. It's gonna be a slab on this side that comes out eight feet by 30 feet, and the same thing on the other side. That's gonna be for our lean-tos on each side of the main building. On switch guys.
we're gonna be building a single bay garage with two eight foot deep overhangs in the kit that we got it's a post and beam kit from Jamaica Cottages and the really great thing about working with them is the kit comes everything you need pre-cut kit hardware roof everything to build it and the other thing I really like if I have any questions that's on the concrete slab or anything I just do this come on I was wondering if I could talk to Joe please thank you Hey Joe, this is Al Lumner. I'm getting ready to pour the concrete slab to go on each side of my single bay garage for the 8 foot deep overhangs. And I was wondering, how long is that slab? Is it going to be 8 feet? Do I need to go a little bit wider or what? Oh, I'll hold on one second, thanks. Oh, awesome Joe. So we want to go 98 inches instead of 96. Perfect. I can get my forms built up now and I can be pouring my concrete later on this week. Thanks for all the help Joe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. They have been so great to work with so far guys. If I have any questions, I call them up and they answer them right there on the spot for me. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to their website and we have a promo code for see the 5 or 10% off the order. I'll put it on right here and that expires the end of June. So if you go on their site and you purchase any of their kits or any of their buildings, you can use that promo code. Let's get to building the forms now. For the most part, I can use the same forms. I just need to change out one leg on each form. So here we have a six foot long piece. I need to put a 10 foot, lo foot long piece here. We already have our lines on here from last time. Grab my square and my sharpie. All right, so we need to mark 98 inches plus an inch and a half, the thickness of that two by six. So 98 inches, so 99 and a half. Right there. Wanna be on that side of it. Nice clean, nice prep work now will save us a ton of work later on. Get it close for now. Lock it in place. Then I know I need to be 373 inches and a half from this corner to that corner. So, 
Let me figure that in feet. So we need to be 31 feet, one inch and a half. So we need to go that way a smidge. Let's try that. 31 feet more. Oops. Thirty-one feet. I got that right in the way. And three quarters. So we need to come in a little bit less. So close, guys. <sighs> you push that in. That's it right there, guys. All right, let's lock that front corner in place. Thirty-one feet. Line's good there. <clears throat> Put this in here. I like it guys, I like it. Well, if we put this down where it needs to go. Which is right there. <clears throat> How are we looking there? I'm pretty good there, we gotta come up a smidge. All right, so let me drive this stake down. <sighs> Do, you keep? Do you keep your stakes down below your boards when you're screeding? You won't hit them if you don't. You end up hitting them with your street board, and it's not fun. Awesome. I like that there. <laughs> That's so close, guys. All right, let's shim this up. I mean, just a smidge, guys. Let's see. More. No, too much. Too much. Still too much. Come down that way. Right there, we're perfect. I don't know how good you can see that, but we are good right there. Let's get these down flush. I want to double check this. We've been beating on it pretty good. That mark's still good. That's perfect, guys. Right there. Right on the money. Oh, I like when that happens. Go. Boom. So we gotta come up a smidge on that side. There we go. I like it. Ah, 
Alright, make sure it was still good height wise. Come up a smidge right there. Alright. Let's be smarter this time. And right from the beginning, let's run a string. We got a nice natural bow going on in the center, guys. So, all right, so we got to come out almost two inches in the center here. Not bad. That's level corner to corner. And then this side's gotta come up, I mean a smidge. A smidge. There we go. I like that right there. Oh, that's right on the money. That's the money shot, guys. The money shot. Now I'm going around and I'm backfilling around all of the forms. I made sure they're nice and level. Got all my stakes in. And now I just want to make sure that they're secure, that the concrete can't push them up or the concrete can't go under the forms. It'll be interesting to see how this digs, considering we just packed it all this morning. <laughs> yeah, like I thought it would. Finished up there just in time. I feel the rain starting. We got it all leveled out and the footings dug out. We're gonna clean them up, but we'll wait till like the day before we go to pour the concrete and we'll just get a nice square edge on all the footings. But it's looking good. One more to do on that side. You ready to pick up Tanner? Yeah. All right, hopefully it's not raining when we get to the yeah, bath. Nope, it slowed up. I didn't get close of it. Come on. Good thing we got the collar. Come on. You're definitely a lifter. Oh, you got your livies. <laughs> you look sleepy still, mister. He does. Okay, Tanner, look at me. Tanner. Look at me. Look. <laughs> okay, Tanner. Tanner. Look at me. What's in there? Hey, look at me. 
So for the next, we gotta have a conversation hey. here, dude. Dude, we need to have a conversation. For the next 10 to 14 days, you cannot chase Figaro or the chickens or wrestle with Pluto. That's what the doctor said, okay? And if you're a good boy and you don't lick yourself, we can take the, we can take the funnel off your head. Whatever. No. no. Does Libby's got a hand feed you? Not anymore. I want you. Hand feed you. You can eat with your cone. Does you like this at first? You know? Well, today was a crazy, weird kind of day. It started off thinking I really thought we had lost the crazy white chicken. I could not find her. I was so happy when we walked around and me and Pluto found her. Man, I was like, oh no, what are we going to do? That's like one of the mascots for our farm. Oh, Miss Liberty over there, always free ranging and you never know where you're going to find her. But Tanner is doing good. He's recovering nicely from getting neutered. He doesn't like the cone, but he'll have it on him for a few more days now. I'm getting excited to be finishing up with the concrete. It's going to take another probably about a week or so, but the whole barn is going to be 32 by 30, so it'll be double the size of what the center slab is. It's going to be so nice once it's done. It's going to be worth all the effort, and especially doing concrete work, if you put the extra time in and take your time, it makes the rest of the build go a lot easier because that way you already got a square slab you're building on. It's level, and you can just start building and going. You don't have to shim or fix anything as you're building your building. So, Hopefully all the time we're putting into the concrete will pay off in the long run. And I guess over my years I've learned in life it's that way. Put the effort in up front, spend the extra time, and you'll thank yourself later on. Like I really didn't want to take the extra two and a half hours that I took the other day smoothing out the concrete floor with a hand trowel. But I know if I didn't and I left it a little bit too rough, all the years we use that barn, that centerpiece is going to be our workshop, I'd be like, man, this is too rough, and I'd regret it. So it's worth it to spend the extra time up front, and later on we can appreciate it, sit back, and think about all the hard work we put into everything. And that's just everything for life. That's not just the concrete floor. So next time you're working on a project, just remember that the little bit extra up front pays for it in the long run. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.